focus. All right, Clayton, thanks for um, the BitChute Odyssey. Join the uh, Patreon, the S uh, subscribe star. I almost called it by its, I almost called it by its initials. That wouldn't have, that wouldn't have worked out too well for YouTube. Uh, subscribe star is very cool. It's a video hosting platform or the the Telegram, the Gamals, all that kind of stuff. So um, one, uh, I don't give a shit about war in Ukraine. Uh, there's a country, uh, there's a bunch of countries called Europe, and if they wanted to spend more on defense spending, they could, uh, they could have spent more on defense. Oh no, we won't be able to give money to uh, to uh, the Pakistani and African refugees who are who are immigrating to Europe. We won't be able to give them give them free housing. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, maybe close the borders and spend some uh, defense, uh, increase your defense budget so you can offer a counter to Russia. You got a bunch of countries there, you have a bunch of resources. If you wanted to increase your military, you absolutely could. But that's what America is for. No, well, you mean the American taxpayer. That's what the American taxpayer is for. I, I for one, am tired of, uh, one, foreign entanglements. Thanks, uh, Federal Reserve, 1913, and then the endless war. And then, of course, taxation that started. And then the debt slave state. And it's like, oh, gee, we started taxes, the Federal Reserve taxes, and the country and you have been in debt. Since 19, uh, 1914, since so, uh, and, and debt and endless wars, World War One, obviously, and the, the endless wars after that. It's like it just, it's it's weird how the founding fathers told us to avoid foreign entanglements. And um, once the Federal Reserve got in there, Andrew Jackson, Jackson was very based on the uh, bankers' wars, but it's like that's not taught in school. It's weird. It's weird that when you control the school boards, you control the narrative and the media. So I guess it's not that weird because it's all by design. So uh, endless debt in 1914, uh, endless wars in 1914, and a decreasing value of dollar in the past hundred years, and a slower standard of living. That ni 1950 America, you can watch those old videos on YouTube. Uh, cities throughout America, it's like Detroit was, I don't know what they call it, like the Paris of the West or something. <laughs> or Chicago was the next big city. It's like, oh, what happened? Oh. What happened, America? What happened? Form of militias. Local. Local groups of in-group preferences. Local identity groups. Because you want to be, you know, constitutionally protected activity. You want to be uh, geographically local. Anyway, so if you voted for Biden, oh, jeez. How about no more foreign wars? How about no more uh, military uh, entanglements? Uh, how about we just pull back and take care of America? All that $65 billion going to Ukraine, that $6 billion going to uh, Israel, and, you know, to be fair, billions going around the country, uh, going around various countries. I just like to make fun of Israel. But um, it, there's a lot of money going, going out the door. It's like, it's not the government's money. It's not a government school. It's, it's taxpayer it's, uh, it's the taxpayer's money. Or it's not public school, it's a government school. It's taxpayer's money. It's free health care. No, no, it's taxpayer health care. And so it's like you're having the, the middle class are paying for... That, it's all taxpayer money. All is, It's all taxpayer money. It's coming from somebody's pocket. I, I don't want any more foreign wars. I don't want any money going out the, the door. And it seems, like, um, it seems like there's a lot of people who agree with me, but our representatives, all 535 people sitting, uh, sitting on the East Coast aren't doing anything about it like they're really not doing anything about it like founding father tree of i'm gonna be careful here um constitutionally protected redress of grievance um yeah he he mentioned the tree of liberty and i'm, I'm not advocating anything that's not constant any i'm not advocating any unconstitutional protected activity um but that's tree of liberty references is uh is is you know this is a um this is the republic if you can keep it and we lost it so like not not like oh we're losing it no 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 Montfrere, way we lost it uh, probably in 1913 and then the latest nail in the coffin would have been any of the endless wars but 1913 Federal Reserve was a big one taxation the endless debt slave state 1965 hard seller act opened the borders was another that was another big one um, so that was already lost the, in, oh, we're gonna take back America no you're not you're not gonna take back America you might be able to take back a little piece of it a couple of states might be able to. Um, separate off and form their own thing and different states for different regions for different groups that would be the best you could hope for you know like i say form local in groups local identity groups to seek redress of grievance of constitutionally protected activity to express yourself because it feels like there's a lot of people like me out there who are looking around at, at all this just just open border america oh america's endless resources we can support tax the taxpayer can support everybody you go like Gas prices are six dollars a gallon in in some parts of California and other parts it's more to be fair but around me it's it's whatever it's over six dollars a gallon um, and inflation friends holy shit oh the sex inflation tax tax uh, um, gas prices the next thing is um trucks diesel trucks those are these big 
diesel 18 wheelers um, they run on diesel fuel so that if yes inflation is, is screwing everybody and they're also on top of inflation they're paying the double the double fuel prices so everything in America is going to be delivered by a diesel truck at some point or a gas truck but at some point it's going through it's going through that so um like you're going to see this inflation just suddenly it, it just keep creeping up creeping up gas prices are creeping up it's like yeah yeah you can drive less for sure you can drive less i can drive less i don't need to make that trip into town that now would have cost me you know a couple dollars um I can wait and do, you know, combined trips, which is fine. Good for the environment that way. But those 18-wheelers, um, they have to drive. <laughs> they have to deliver. It's like, oh, gee, all these food produce, all these food distribu- distribution centers are burning down. Oh, that happens every year. Happens every year. No, it doesn't. I mean, few, a few happen. And to be fair, grain does catch fire. Grain is very, very explosive. Chicken fi- chicken fires? Yeah, I guess that happens. Seems like there's a whole lot of them, though. Is there more than there were a few years ago? Is it creeping up? Like, you guys are going to face tough, tough times of starvation. Yeah, but are you, like, guar- is that a prediction? I mean, are you guaranteeing... Is that a promise or a prediction? I mean, you're, you're guaranteeing this. Like, you, all this, all this, all this is by design. All this is by design. Anyway, anyway, um... <laughs> form local groups the only way you can really express yourself is like just leaving that comfort zone leaving that comfort zone anyway so creepy joe biden whispers in the microphone blames gas station owners for his record gas prices so inauguration day uh gas i don't know where the hell gas was two 240 not in california my good friend um but uh people in the, around the country are going like gas is gas is five dollars a gallon I'm like oh that'd be sweet man you're talking about california actually had a tax uh, surplus one year and um i don't know why because everyone's leaving the state and they didn't lower gas taxes. <laughs> oh, wacky California. It is time to move. So inauguration, 240. Uh, day before invasion, 353. And uh, day after invasion, 354. Today, five bucks. I don't care about Ukraine. Europe can handle European interests. Oh, but they just don't want to. Yeah, yeah. It's time for this global oligarchy, the, these globalist lizard people these these wefts these soruses schwabs rothschilds guys none of this changes you know i wish we had some cool leaders i wish we had leaders who would step up i wish i wish the tall handsome you know dude who looks like a a leader stereotype whatever stereotypical leader looks like (laughs) was gonna step up and uh, take charge um that'd be fair if he did he'd probably be assassinated but you know what i mean it's like well okay then it's gonna have to start with massively parallel system of starting to wake up um because he's got to see where this is headed i mean this is headed to the the most bizarre conspiracy theory 1984 dystopian hellhole future you'll eat the bugs so those are um those are like thought teasers in propaganda. They raise these trial balloons of like, you'll eat the bugs to kind of get you ready for it, jokingly for it. You'll live in the pods, you'll eat the bugs, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, open borders is your strength and diversity is your strength. All this, all this kind of bizarre. It's like nobody believes it, but they raise these ideas. It's like, that's, those are all predictions. Like, that's all coming to pass. I mean, carry forward this inflation, this future rate of inflation, future rate of rising gas prices. Just carry it forward. It's like, well, food starts getting short. America is a low trust, diverse, multicultural society, which means it's a society, a society that is only held together in good times. And when there's bad times, it goes to Hurricane Katrina status instantly because it's not one people; it's a diverse group of people. The lowest trust, uh, like game theory, uh, physical anthropology, or cultural anthropological models, or group psychology, is if you have a, a in group of one group that's the highest trust, and then a diverse group is going to be the lowest trust. Because they can't trust each other. Because they don't, and half the time they don't even speak the same languages or at least the same dialect. They're not one tribe. They're not one people. So now diversity is weakness. It was designed to be. All this was. Like Biden really looks like he's running the country. Yes, by design. And the like the no pun intended. The gaslighting you're seeing from him on Twitter and his defenders. Holy shit! It's out of this fucking world. If you voted for Biden. Oh, man. 
I mean, I, I'm not even mad at you because it's like it's just beyond the point of it's like, well, it's deck chairs on the Titanic now. You voted for Biden. It's like uh, uh, you're in the same sh- sinking ship. It, I can't even I can't even laugh at you too much. But if you're still defending him because you have Trump derangement syndrome, because the the Ep- the, uh, the same people on CNN, MSNBC who flew to Epstein's Island, they're the ones who are telling you Trump's a Nazi. The, the same people who control the media are the ones who are flying to Epstein's Island. They're the ones who set the narrative on Trump. Like, Trump's just some guy. He's not hes not the angel that the MAGA crowd seems to think he is, because he's, he's not useless, but, he, I mean, he's better than Biden, for God's sakes, for sure. He's better than Hillary. Yeah, he's better than all... He was just a better choice than all the other people out there. And, like, better than Biden? Oh, God, yes. Oh, 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 absolutely. Unless you're an accelerationist, which... If you're an accelerationist, then... Then, you know... Biden was the right choice because you want to destroy something before you can rebuild it. But it's like you got to have tools in position to rebuild things. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next episode.